to my channel. We are back. We are back in Perth, back in my usual filming setup. Kind of sad about it. I really miss London. So if you haven't been watching any of my channel videos or travel vlogs or anything, over the summer holidays in Australia, I went overseas on a two month holiday and I went to London for most of it and also to the Caribbean um, just to visit family because we have family in both of those locations. So I did spend the majority of my summer holidays in London where it was obviously winter and oh my goodness, I went a bit overboard with the shopping that I did. I bought so many new clothes. Like, it's actually a bit ridiculous. Oh my gosh, trying to fit them all in my suitcase on the way back. I thought my suitcase was going to split open and like, just my clothes were going to go everywhere during the like flight back to Australia. Oh, fun fact. I went on a direct flight from London to Perth and that is 17 hours. It's the longest direct flight in the world. Um, so yeah, I literally thought my suitcase was going to split open and all my clothes were going to go everywhere. But it didn't. They all arrived back safely. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the clothes that I bought in London and the surrounding suburbs. Um, yeah, there is a lot. So I'm going to get started. Okay. Um, we need to do like categories. Okay, I'm gonna do jeans first because I only got one pair of jeans and I love these jeans I'm literally in love with these jeans. Okay, so these jeans are from oh look you can really see them well here <laughs> um, These jeans are from Topshop. They are high-waisted mum jeans So they're a pretty light wash, which is how I like to have most of my jeans um, and they're high-waisted and then they've got ripped knees here which was actually a really dumb purchase because ripped knees in a London winter is like not a good combination my knees were cold but like it was fine it was fine um, and then they just finished like that um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to show these on camera but I will put in pictures of me wearing them in London over the top of this footage um, but I absolutely love these jeans and they are so comfortable they're actually they're kind of a bit hard to get on and off so when you go to the toilet it's a bit annoying but they are so comfortable when they're on like oh my goodness i did not think they were going to be comfortable but they are they feel like they were made to fit me like they just fit me so well um i absolutely love them they're from top shop i'm not sure how expensive they were they were reasonably pricey but top shop is reasonably pricey um but they are like really good i will use these heaps and heaps and heaps in australia like yes love these okay right moving on to let's go on to jumpers slash jackets okay jackets Ugh. okay <laughs> so um i bought two kind of big coat slash jackets um the first one i am actually in love with this one this is oh my goodness i bought this on the very first day i bought the jeans on the very first day as well um because i had no coats at all so um i needed to buy one and i bought this from hollister oh my goodness how cute is this i put photos on the screen of me wearing this but oh my gosh it's uh i actually it's ah it's so cute the colors i love the colors i love the colors so much pastel colors definitely suit me um more than like really bright colors because i have paler skin so pastel colors are like yeah and oh my goodness, I am actually, I love, it looks like a marshmallow. I feel like, I'm, oh, mm, so good. And it's also, it's not cropped, but it's like not a long coat. So it like stops just before my waist, which really suited me. Like some people suit longer coats. Personally, I just, my body type shape, um, it looks better in like more cropped kind of tops. So this was like perfect. It's actually quite hard to find like shorter coats um, that are still kind of like fluffy and warm. Fluffy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this was a fantastic find from Hollister. I actually remember for some reason, I remember that it was 100 euros. Like it said on the tag, 100 euros. So I don't know how many pounds or how many Australian dollars it is, but it was like very expensive, but definitely worth it because I needed a coat and this is a really good quality one and I absolutely love it and I wore it literally every day. Like in all of my photos, it's so annoying. It looks like all of my photos were like taken on the same day or that I was wearing the same thing every day because I had this coat on in literally every single photo. But I love it. Um, Hollister has become one of my favorite stores their jumpers. I have so many good jumpers from Hollister that I got. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll show you them in a minute. Why is my camera flashing? It's literally like almost fully... What? What is it doing? I feel like this is not the same as it was before. Um, it wasn't my battery. It was my memory card. I ran out of storage. Okay. Moving on to the next coat kind of jackety thing. Oh, what? Why does this have the tag on? 
I've been wearing it this whole time with the tag on. That's so bad. Oh my goodness. I suppose it didn't map. That is strange. Anyway, okay. So <laughs> this denim jacket, which still has the tag on, um, I got this from Topshop, um, not on the same trip as I got the jeans. I got this. This was the last thing I bought on the trip. It was literally like a couple of days before I left London. Um, I bought this. I found it in a Topshop that um, was closing down, so all of its stuff was on sale. That was the only reason I went in there. And this was originally originally £55 and I bought it for £30. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain and I also don't have many warm coats. Um, at all. So I I basically only have that one. So now I have this one which is another really warm thing that I can like stick over the top of um, numerous other layers of jumpers and long sleeve tops and whatnot. Um, so yeah, there it is. That's what it looks like from Topshop. Um, just a denim jacket with woolly, furry stuff inside. Um, but yeah, I love this. Denim looks reasonably good on me. Like it kind of brings out the color of my eyes. I feel cause my eyes are kind of this color blue. Um, so I feel like it kind of suits me. So yeah, I got this on sale. Me thinking I'm a bargain shopper, but really I actually just spent money. I didn't save any money. I just spent it. I just spent so much money on this trip. Oh my goodness. Okay, while we're on the subject of denim, I brought, actually no, two, no, actually more, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> but one of the things I bought was this dress. This is the only dress that I bought on the trip and it is a summer, actually it's summer slash spring slash autumn dress because it actually is a bit hot to wear in the heat of summer because it's denim, but it's like, let me just move backwards. There we go. It's like a little denim dress like this. Um, I'll put a picture of me in the change rooms trying on. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I really liked it. I've always wanted like a denim dress like this. So yeah. Um, and I got this from m and I want to say. Yeah. No. Not m, m &S. What? What am I saying that for? H&M. I got it from H&M. Um, we do have H&M stores in Australia, but yeah. I really liked it. I think it was £25, so that's about 50 Australian dollars. Basically, pounds to Aussie dollars conversion. You just, whatever pounds it is, you basically just double it for Australian dollars. It's a, that's like approximate, but yeah. So this is a little dressy, a little dress that I bought. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Really nice. Woohoo. Um, okay. So, oh goodness. Oh, I'm okay, I'm going to do my Hollister jumpers now because I'm actually in love with these. I, I literally, I'm in love. In love. Okay. So the first Hollister jumper, oh no, it's inside out. Tia. Tia. Also, um, I'd never been to London before. I'd never been to Europe at all. So this was my first time going. So it was really cool to like see everything that I'd just kind of seen in photos before in real life. It was really cool. Um, anyway, side note. So continuing on with my clothes haul. Here is the first jumper from Hollister. It does not look as good on camera, but I'll put a photo of me in it. I am like in love with it. It's such a nice color. I love this shade of green, like in terms of like, for clothing um, and it's got a slightly high neck as you can see um, and just super it's just oh and it's so soft and comfortable that's what I love it's so soft and comfortable and it's also like fairly cropped like it, it's not it's not long so yeah I actually I love it I love I love you can't really I can't show you things properly on camera but that's why I'm gonna be putting pictures on the screen but yeah absolutely love that L-O-V-E, okay. Um, and then this one I also got from Hollister. So it's kind of similar, it's exactly the same material, but it just is like this. And again, I'll put a photo on the screen if I have one, um, but yeah, it's just kind of like that. I like how it's got the three, hello. Um, I like how it's got the three different colors. You know, you can see different, different, and then different on the sleeves. Um, and it's V-neck, this one, which is nice. A bit different so that's why I got two because one's like a high neck and one is a v-neck so yeah and again it's like the same style so it's like a bit more cropped as well it's like cropped at the same height as the other one so yeah love that okay cool um next hello I'm just interrupting the video really quickly I just want to say after this trip I am now trying to both buy and sell more clothes secondhand and I found this really good website called carousel 
Um, and I'm not, this is not sponsored or anything, but I have put some clothes up there, as you can see, and I'm going to be putting more and more of my clothes up there to sell online. So if you are interested in any of these clothes, um, if you're a similar or slightly smaller size to me, then please go have a look at all of my clothes and please buy them because no one's bought any yet and it's making me sad. Okay, bye. Actually, you know what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do my running clothes that I bought. So I went to TK Maxx. Um, so if you guys don't... If you haven't like watched my channel before, I am an elite middle distance runner. So I do like 1500, 3K and 5K. Um, so I do like a lot of running training. I run six days a week. And pretty much all of my running clothes are either too small or really, really, really old and actually falling apart and stuff. So I bought like a couple of new crop tops. I was also looking for some more running shorts, but because it was winter in the UK, there was no running shorts anywhere. Like I w went into so many stores, none, none of them had like Nike Pro running shorts or anything. Like only one store did, but they were kind of expensive. So anyway, um, so I did find, where is it? Where is it? It was here. It was really here, oh, okay. But I did find two crop tops and a singlet and also these really nice Calvin Klein tracksuit pants that I, yeah, really nice. But I don't know if I'm going to wear them running. I might just not wear them running. I'll just wear them, like, casually and stuff. But anyway, Calvin Klein cropped up. Oh, which is my favorite one? This one's my favorite one. I, also, this has a tag on the outside, which is really strange because I feel like even if you cut it out, you're still going to see it when you wear the crop top. Anyway, so I did not know that Calvin Klein did crop tops, but in Ki in Kite, in TK Maxx, they had Calvin Klein crop tops. Oh my goodness, I love Calvin Klein. I find them so comfortable. Like their um, bras and stuff. I have a couple of Calvin Klein bras. So com I'm actually wearing one now. This bra here is Calvin Klein. Um, but yeah, find them so comfortable. And when I saw that they had crop tops, I was like, oh my goodness. So how cute is I I've always wanted a red, like this is a really strange um, thing to have always wanted, but I've always wanted a red crop top or red shorts. Like I've just wanted, I don't know. I just have. So I found this and I'm like actually in love with this. It's so nice. I would have already worn it if it didn't have the tag on the side. Um, but I want to get my mum to cut that out because I will either, I'll just do it wrong. So yeah, um, but how cute is this? And then at the back, it's really cute as well because it has this little like hole thing um, at the back, which is so nice. And then just has like a normal, the rest of the back is normal. Um, and it says Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. This top reminds me of Valentine's Day. Um, and what I also like about the Calvin Klein crop tops is that they don't have any padding in them because some crop tops have padding and I just find that really annoying because I don't want padding when I'm, well I never, I never have like padding in anything because I just find it stupid. Um, but especially when you're exercising, like that's just annoying. So anyway, Calvin Klein crop top number one and then Calvin Klein crop top number two. So this one is a bit more basic. It just says Calvin Klein and then it's got like little white things there and then it's just got Calvin Klein like that. Um, I actually bought this one first and then I went back to TK Maxx and I saw that one. I prefer that one. So I might not have bought this one if I'd known I was going to buy that one, but I didn't. So I did. Do you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I've got this now. It's nice. It's nice. Um, and then I got a running singlet just because I didn't really, um, like I'm don't, I'm not in love with this, but I have literally no running singlets. Like I have so many t-shirts, but hardly any singlets and it's a bit of a, actually no, I do have kind of, I do kind of have some singlets actually. I have way more t-shirts than singlets and singlets have always been like a bit of a deficiency in my life, which is stupid because in Australia in summer it's like super hot. So you want a singlet rather than a t-shirt. Anyway, so I bought this um, Puma singlet as you can see and the good thing about this is it is super super light and breathable fabric like it will keep you like you'll stay really cool um in this and it's nice like I, I like it it looked fine but it's just not like the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life um and also I've never owned anything Puma before I don't think I think I had some shoes one time but not any clothes so there we go we'll see how that is um but that was also from TK Maxx and then the tracksuit pants. Now this was, mm, they're kind of a size too big, but the thing about TK Maxx is, well, at least the ones that I went to or the like lines that I was on, the clothing lines that I was looking at is that they only had like one of each item, like, cause it's, wait, what?
Never mind. I thought someone just like opened my front door and came into my house, but I don't think they did. So <laughs> fingers crossed there's no strange person in my house. Um, anyway. Yeah, so they didn't have these in the size that I wanted. There was only like one size of these and it was a small and I'm... I'm a small in literally everything else, but in these I would have been an extra small. Anyway, it's fine. I got them because I really, really love them. So they've got like this thick Calvin Klein waistband thing. And then they're tracksuit pants. And they've got like really, really long legs. Um, and the material is so nice. And they were in the sports section, which is what made me think like, oh, they're running tracksuit pants. But I feel like I could actually just wear them casually with like a cropped like singlet or something um or a crop t-shirt or whatever um yeah but anyway these are really really nice calvin klein tracky pants yeah and that little silver thing there says ck and they've got pockets of course which is always nice um but yeah they're just a super nice fabric and again tk max so they weren't too expensive um and i just liked them so i bought them yeah okay Right, I'm making a mess. And the last thing I bought in TK Maxx, which was just a really impulse purchase, because I went in there for like the fourth time, because I just kept, I don't know. I, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so the fourth thing I bought from TK Maxx was this. Fourth thing I bought? No, fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth thing I bought from TK Maxx was this little, how do you pronounce that brand? Is it Fila or Filet? I don't know. I've never had anything from this brand before. Anyway, it, this was also in the sports section, but it's like cotton. There is no way I'd wear this when exercising. So it's just like a casual t-shirt to wear with shorts or jeans or something. Um, I'm thinking those Topshop jeans with this would kind of be quite a nice outfit. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's just a pretty basic cropped t-shirt. But yeah, I was debating between getting an extra small and a small. And I actually, like I normally am a small, but I went extra small in this just because I thought that it looked better when it was a bit smaller. So anyway, there we go. Nice little cropped t-shirt. That was a very unnecessary purchase, but <laughs> oh well. Next, we go to Primark. And I bought three items from Primark on the very first day that I arrived in London. Oh my god, it's really hot in here because I closed the window because like otherwise you can hear the sound of cars outside. But it's like 35 degrees today and I'm sweating and my hair goes all like meh. Anyway, uh, we went to Primark on the first day and I bought two long sleeve tops and a jumper because I didn't have many long sleeve tops. And that is the thing, I actually don't have all that many long sleeve tops. But I need long sleeve tops that aren't high necked. Because I have high necked ones but I don't have not high necked ones. And the problem with high necked ones is that then when you want to wear like another layer on top, if that is... If that layer is not also high necked, then it looks weird because you've got like a high neck underneath and not. Yeah, so I need. Anyway, I need more long sleeve tops that are not high necked. But I did not get them in Primark because I was not thinking. Um, so this is just like a plain grey. This is like six pounds or something. It's inside out at the moment, but I'm not turning in the right way because it's fine like this. Um, high necked, plain grey, kind of ribbed top uh long sleeve top and i just wore that like heaps of the time just tucked into jeans i wore it under that green um this green top thing because this is also high necked um yeah so that was just just kind of a staple and then i bought the exact same thing in black and i actually didn't wear this one i don't know why but i will be wearing it um now oh it's so soft because this one hasn't been washed because i haven't worn it it's so soft um yeah i bought the exact same one in black here it is. Uh, yeah. Cool. 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 Um, and then the third thing that I brought from, pr brought, bought. Third thing I, why is this inside out as well? Oh my goodness. Um, the third thing I bought from Primark, and at the time I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this. I'm not like the biggest fan, but oh my goodness, this was such a useful purchase. It literally cost like £10 and I wore this all the time because it was such a good extra layer because I get quite cold. And this is like, okay, I'm just going to show it to you and then I will explain. So, it's like this big, um, no, that's the wrong way. Yeah, this way. Okay, so it's like this big roll necked jumper. Um, It's really thick. It's like really thick material. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's like a bottle green, um, really thick roll neck, and it's got like a big 
roll neck hair that you like roll over. Um, so yeah. But oh my goodness, I wore this all the time because what I would do is I would have layers. I would have a singlet, then a long sleeve top, then a jumper, and then a coat. But sometimes I would still be cold. So then over the top of my jumper, I would put this and then I would put my coat on top of this and that kept me so warm. And because this like is a big roll neck, it keeps your neck really warm as well. And that's important. Like I noticed when I had this on, like I lost a lot less heat through like this part of my body because it just kept my neck a lot warmer. This was like, it kept me really, really warm. It was a great layer to have. So I definitely suggest if you're someone who gets cold, like get one of these and just put it on. And then I also wore it around the house all the time um, because it was really warm and it's just, yeah. This was a very good purchase. It's not the most attractive looking thing in the world. It's quite long. Um, like it looked fine. It looks fine, but it's not, yeah. Anyway, so that's why I didn't think I was gonna wear it all that much, but oh my goodness, it was probably my most worn piece of clothing on that trip because this is like really suitable for London weather. So yeah, um, cool. Then, 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 then. Oh, actually, also, what are these? Oh, these are from M&S. So then, yeah, on the first day, I also bought two singlets from M&S just for an extra layer of warmth. Um, so I just have a grey one um, and a white one. And I have this, okay, this is a, <laughs> I have this thing when I'm shopping where I get really stressed about choosing the right size. And I didn't know whether the 8 or the 10 was the right size in this singlet. It's the 8. I'm an 8, I'm not a 10, I'm an 8, It would it, the, the 8 is the right size for me, the 10 is a little bit big, but I just stressed out that the 8 was going to be too tight, and so I bought this one in an 8 and this one in a 10, so I had both options, because um, it doesn't really matter what colour it is, because it's going underneath stuff, so that's just me being like stupid, but I literally get so stressed about choosing the right size. <laughs> yeah, so this is an 8 and this is in a 10, but I just wore these under my clothes every single day, just for an extra layer of warmth, and they were cheap they were really cheap from MS. and then finally we're on to the final two oh, no i haven't shown my shoes yet oh my goodness i got the actual best shoes i'm in love with these shoes oh my goodness wait okay i'll show them to you after i've showed you these two items of clothing i actually i'm in love with my shoes okay <laughs> i'm also just a disclaimer I am not a materialistic clothes shopping person. I haven't been shopping for the past two years of my life. And the reason why I bought so much stuff on this trip is because I literally had no winter clothes that fit me. Like, I didn't have any that fit me. Because um, I'd grown out of all of them and I hadn't gone shopping for the past two years. And I've grown quite a bit in the past two years. But I hadn't bought any new clothes. And so I kind of just bought my wardrobe in London. Um, so that's why, but I literally never go shopping. I don't really enjoy going shopping. I find it just meh. Yeah, I don't enjoy going shopping. I'm not someone who's interested in fashion at all. I literally just, I just go around in running clothes the whole time. So it's fine. But yeah, the reason why I bought lots of clothes on this trip was because I needed to buy clothes and I would have had to buy clothes whether I'd gone on holiday or not. Um, so yeah, just want to put that out there. I'm not like a super fashion into shopping kind of person. It's just literally not me at all. Um, so we, me and my mum and my sister, one of the places we, oh, mm, mm, no. So anyway, one of the places that we visited, because me and my mum and my sister kind of went on like a road trip around London. We went and saw like heaps of different people. And one of the places we went to was Cambridge. And fun fact, my mum's grandfather actually went to the University of Cambridge. Um, he studied mathematics. He was very, very like... He did very well at the university. He was in like the first teams for like cricket and rowing and some other sport and he did like very well in his degree. And my mum was actually accepted into Cambridge University to study economics. So yeah, we have a bit of a family history at Cambridge. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry to say I will not be continuing that tradition, but that's fine. So we went and looked at the university and mum showed us the college that my granddad, no, my great, my great granddad went to. He went to King's College. So I got this t-shirt, which says University of Cambridge established 1209. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
I did not know that. Um, it's quite long, but I love the colors. So like, I really like it that it's white. And then I love this color that the stuff is written in. I love, 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 love it. And so I'm going to wear it like tucked into those ripped jeans. I feel like that would make a really nice outfit like this tucked into those high-waisted um, jeans or tucked into shorts or a skirt. Um, but yeah, just a little plain t-shirt, but I really like it. I like t-shirts like this that I kind of like plain, but then they have something on them. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> that's kind of an oxymoron, but anyway. Um, yeah, so got this t-shirt. I'm in love. I'm trying to keep it very white. Um, I don't want it to get like, a, like discolored or anything. I want it to be white. Um, and then the other thing I bought from Cambridge was this jumper, which I wore all the time in the UK, all the time. And I will be wearing all the time in winter here because it's very comfortable. Um, it's this kind of just, it's just a jumper. Um, and it's just a jumper, but it says King's College, Cambridge, which is where my granddad went and my, my great granddad went and my mum was accepted into. So yeah, King's College, Cambridge, just a little jumper. Cute. Love it. Yeah. And now I'm going to go get my shoes because I really want to show these shoes. I, oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. Okay, so these were most definitely the most expensive. Oh, goodness gracious. The most, oh no, my legs are like literally sweating on this chair. It's so hot. Oh, this is so gross. Um, these were the most expensive purchase of the trip. But, oh my goodness, I am in love. Because, okay, so I have like one pair of white shoes that I literally wore every single day throughout the trip. You will have seen them in every single photo I've put on this video. I wore them every single day. Like I have no other walking shoes. The only shoes I own, I literally, I have hardly any shoes. Okay. So the only shoes that I own are running shoes and spikes. And then I have one pair of like white trainers. Um, they're from Nike, but they're not running shoes. They're just like walking around, you know, shoes. Um, I have one pair. And those are the only winter shoes I have. Oh no, I have one pair of them and then one pair of black ankle boots. Those are the only two pairs of winter shoes I have. And the black ankle boots I only really wear if I'm going out for dinner or something like. So basically all I ever wear in winter is those white shoes. And I've had them for oh, three years now and they are getting very skanky. Um, <laughs> I just, they basically, I needed a new pair of white shoes. And so... I got these. I got these quite close to the end of the trip. I wasn't going to buy any in London, but then I saw these and they just fit me so well because I have a very long, narrow foot um, and it's kind of hard to get shoes that fit me really well. And these ones did and I've worn them once already and they are amazing. Okay. So as you can see, they are from Ralph Lauren. Um, I didn't know Ralph Lauren did shoes, but I oh, look at them. Here they are. So yeah, it's just like a white trainer. Um, got the little logo there in navy blue and it's got this little navy blue trimming around the outside of the shoe, which I think is nice because it's just a bit different. Um, and then that's what it kind of looks like there. These are actually men's shoes and I was worried that I looked like a man, but I think it's okay. Um, <laughs> but they're actually like men's shoes, which yeah, I mean, okay, cool. But yeah, I actually, love them and can you see i don't know if you can see but they're like but they're, they're quite a narrow fit you can't really see on camera but they're quite a narrow fit and they just fit me so so well they were like 85 pounds i think which is about 170 australian dollars so they're really expensive but i wear them all the time like i would just wear these all the time i've lit I've literally been back in Australia. Like I didn't wear them in London because I wanted to save them until I got back to Australia. And I've been back in Australia two days and I've already worn them like twice. Um, twice? Yeah, twice. I've worn them twice. So, yeah. <coughs> they were expensive, but for the amount that I'll use them, it's like definitely worth it. Um, it's definitely worth me getting a good quality pair of these shoes because I literally wear them all the time. So yeah, I actually am in love with these. They're so nice. I love them. <laughs> and you can just wear these with any outfit. Like I would wear these with this dress that I'm wearing today. Um, I'd wear them with like any summer outfit and I'd also wear them with any winter outfit. So they're just such a great versatile shoe. 
Love them, love them, love them. Okay. No, my camera battery is flashing. Okay, so that is everything that I bought in London. Well, no, it's not actually. That's all the clothes that I bought in London. I also bought some other little things, but um, this was a clothing haul. So those are all the clothes and the pair of shoes that I bought in London. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was just like a bit of fun. Um, maybe give you some fashion inspiration. I am not good at fashion. I wouldn't take fashion advice from me. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video, giving you a bit of inspo or it's just been fun to watch. Comment down below what your favourite item of clothing in this video was um, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, I am uploading heaps of videos at the moment because I'm not starting uni until halfway through this year so I have a bit of time to film and edit videos. Um, I'm currently editing all of my travel vlogs from my trip which was absolutely amazing and I have heaps of other videos I'm filming now that I'm home as well so I'm going to be uploading a variety of fun, interesting, exciting, amazing videos so definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss those. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my... How did I stuff up my final line? I will see you in my next video. Bye!